you guys and welcome back to The Lost Crown. Here it is, Mayday is upon us. We finally made it. Um, so, the day has finally arrived. Mayday has come to Saxton Shore. I can't help but wonder what connection these ancient festivals have to the treasure and the legends of this land. Will Mayday's influence aid my mission, or will Saxton's cryptic cloak be even more opaque than ever? What is Edward Molina trying to tell me? What are those numbers? So we wrote them down last time. It's 3418. Experience the fair. What hold does Mayday have over these people? Who is sending the poison pen letters? They've become threatening. We couldn't see the last one because of an inventory glitch, but hopefully we can see the latest one. Um, what do the strange symbols tell me? Are they directions? To the treasure? Uh, we got to get Spivey's telescope from Bob. Let's hope he repaired the blasted thing. Alright, let's check our little gadgets from the night before. Let's see if we picked anything up. I can already see a photo. Some of the gadgets appear to be missing. Poltergeist activity. The camera has captured something. Let's see what we've got. Oh, get fucked. Three out of the four Aegis are now looking at me in bed. This is messed up. Okay, let's check these drawers while we're here. Let's check the chest. Nothing. Hmm. That weird out of body experience we had last night. What the hell did that mean, huh? It's definitely a door behind that wall. I really want to open it. Okay, no gadgets in here. I'll check the wardrobe proper and then we'll head downstairs. So you didn't do this last time. Alright, let's have a look. The rocks are waiting to prick at your head, Danvers. Poor Danvers is already dead. Whew. Okay, yeah, that is a bit threatening. The den of death. Look at the cop. It's like the bill. Catnapper's hideout found by police. Alex Rubens of Anglia Police is heading the investigation into the strange goings on at the old Nets store from Section Shore. Rubens discovered the bizarre hideout late yesterday afternoon after a tip off from two local youths. The evil den is described as brutally bizarre, packed with sinister, esoterica, gruesome detritus, and the saddest of all, the bodies of the mix missing Saxton cats. Yeah, Reese is going to be devastated. Um. When questioned by the press, Rubens had this statement. Whoever did this, I will find them. Whoever's responsible will be punished. We will leave no stone or pebble unturned in our hunt for this vicious, cruel, degenerate. First of May, May Day. Alright, let's check over here for our gadgets. again. Yeah. I can hear the EV, the EV, I can hear the EMF meter. Nope. Ah, tape recorder. How did that get here? Did that get here? In the sink. Which it is. 
Oh, I'm gonna check the journal as well. See if other pages got added. I guess. No, we can't. What's happening to this? When did that happen? Okay, first I'm going to check that journal, just in case. I mean, in, in real life I would just go straight into the hole in the wall, but... I just want to check this journal before we head in. Yep, this is new. April 22nd, 1952. I must get her away from this place. It's supposed to be a happy time. Fresh start. New beginnings. Christina wishes to return to Spain as soon as possible. She insists that something in this cottage is trying to kill her. I weep when I hear such things. I'll make arrangements to have Christina stay in London for a short time, or she's fit enough to travel home. She will leave next week. April 24th, 1952. I have searched the house from the rafters to the dock. There's nothing and no one here to harm my poor Christina. I'm beginning to suspect her illness began before she left Spain. Her hair is now so thin, her face so pale. I'm counting the hours till she leaves for London. Hold on, my darling. For a few days is all you need to wait. April 29th, 1952. Sickness has worsened. There was blood in the bath water. She's so frail. I plan to leave tomorrow morning on the first train. I will carry Christina myself through these endless fenlands and darkened water. The train leaves Sedgemarsh, which we'll all have to do. I cannot wait any longer. Christina believes she has little time and mutters about the evil which lives within these walls. The other pages appear to be blank. blank. That's very odd. Alright. Well, as our friend Nigel says, nothing ventured. Going through the hole in the wall. Man. Oh, okay. Good. Excited. Ooh. Ugh, the air smells rank, like rotten flesh. This this must lead down to the old... This must be the dock. The water is stagnant and still. Oh, wait, is this where the water from the house comes from? Oop, we got some power. And a safe. meter is in the safe. How did that get here? Oh. Wow. There's another journal here, but I just want to look at this drawing. That's the woman we saw in the mirror, too. Oh yeah, that's spiky.
What on earth is that? Another symbol. It's a symbol, but I have no idea what it means. I don't think that could help me. Looks very rusty. May 1st, 1952. May Day. Town celebrates the arrival of summer. Stupid, ignorant peasants. I can hear them above me, singing and dancing. Wish they would all go to hell. She's gone. My Christina passed in the night. I was not there when it happened, and I blame myself for her leaving. I now know the cause of her suffering and death. This damn cottage and its filthy water, yeah. She told me this cottage was trying to kill her. I knew there was poison within the walls. The water to our home is not from the well, as it should be. Instead, it was pumped from the basement dock. Full of vile vapors, bacteria, and death. Should have listened. But for a time, it might be salt water. Surely she could taste the salt water. Anyway, I should have listened. I thought for a time that Christina wished to leave this place and return to Spain. I thought her illness may be self induced. It's too late for such thoughts. This place has taken my Christina. I have little to care for and nothing to love. I wish this to be a happy place. Now I have nothing. Only guilt and shame. I still have my service revolver, but I'm unable to use it. There are ropes on the dock. The ancient beams of this hovel will be my gallows. Perhaps she will forgive me. Perhaps I'll see her again. I leave this place with nothing to speak of except for bitterness and a heart that cannot survive. I'll join you soon, my love. The other pages appear to be blank. This must be Melina's last entry. Before his suicide. Mm. It's heavy. That's heavy now. Right, let's head back upstairs. Something. Perhaps another gadget will help. There's something. Perhaps another gadget will help. Oh, I'm just picturing the smell. That'd be absolutely rank. There's Ooh, something. Orbs. Perhaps another gadget will help. Take a photo. Oh. Ghostly boat. Far out. Let's go. Well, we have discovered the secret of Harbour Cottage. I guess we should go out and experience the fair, huh? I love this, by the way. Oh, look how vibrant that is. Clear blue skies for May Day. Finally here. She has come bright and lovely. I believe the fair's down on the beach. Let's head down there. Even though the police should have shut the beach. But... Oh no, that's not Kevin, is it? Well, here's Bob anyway. Happy May Day, Mr. Tawny. Bob, please. And yes. It's a fine May Day. That's a fine looking pig. 
It's a hog roast, traditional in these parts. I'll have to try some uh, later today. Have you spoken with Nanny Noah at all? Not as yet, but once this lot's had their fill, I'm gonna go over and offer her some pork. Oh, bless yeah. you. I can imagine she likes a bit of crackling too. Oh yes, that she does. Mayday. Is that a euphemism, that. Agile? What? I'll let you enjoy Mayday. Ask there, him about you the... too, lad. Go find her. Ask him about the telescope later, I'm guessing. Bob Tawney's hog roast. Apps is one pound. And Linnell, 150. Crackling is 50p. Slice O ear, 60p. Bone for the dog is 20p. Rocky would love that. Punch and Judy. I thought Punch and Judy shows have been banned. Have a look. Oh god, that'll be um that'll be the antiques guy, that'd be gruel. Oh that's creepy. That's enough of that. Oh of course Lucy's running the ghost train, huh? Hello there. Happy May Day. It's glorious. The sky is so blue. <laughs> Can you promise me a real ghost, Lucy? Ironic, isn't it? Step right up for the fright of your life. <laughs> oh, God. That was the worst ghost thing ever. <laughs> oh, Nigel, you wound me. Oh, shit. That's funny. Hello there. It's... Any news from Alex, the detective? Still at the net hut. Forensics are all over it. Yeah. Any nightmares after last night? No, oddly. I found it, well, quite spiritual. Is, it, is that a pun? No, not at all. Wow, she's coming around, huh? Will you be around later tonight? Reese is announcing the Saxton Snappers result. In the bear? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay, I'll see you there. Sweet. It's a date. Catch you later. If you're quick. What else, sweet? What does the fair have to offer us? Miss Stick Morgan. <coughs> And then he knows treasure hunt. Let's go to the psychic first. Actually, yeah, let's go there first. Cross my palm with silver. I don't think we have anything silver though. Hello, Morgan? Morgan Mankel? Or is it Mystic Morgan today? Yes, yes. Yeah, we haven't any silver. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Uh... Let's talk to Nanny Noah. Her stuff. The fair is wonderful. It's come together beautifully. <laughs> Shame about the punch and Judy. Oh no, ghastly, isn't it? Misogynistic rubbish. I'm guessing that Mr. Gruel is hidden under there somewhere. That's horrible, man. He's insane. <laughs> have you tried the ghost train? No, I can't say I have. Over there. Do you think I'll find my fortune here? <laughs> you may be in luck. Seek your destiny. I shall. Mayday is here. Do you feel a change? Yes, I do. There's a new scent on the air. The long days of summer are around the corner and all shall be anew. The pale moon, pale gold lady has come amongst us. 
Time for me to go. Eh? Be careful, Nigel. Remember your reading. Not all is as it seems. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, Mr. Oogle. You are a man of many talents, Professor Oogle. <laughs> You've discovered my secret identity. What's the first prize for the raffle? Art? Well spotted, Nigel. Your information regarding Nicholas Gurney inspired me to dig deeper. Ah. Oh. So I was right. The Tree of Crows is Gurney's work. Uh, not only his work, but his last enigma. I spent the last evening gazing upon the painting. There's something peculiar about it. Oh, you telling me? Hidden within the brush strokes? Yes. How did you know that? I believe Gurney was seeking the lost crown. I fear that I'm digging myself in too deep. Yeah, there's a robbery at the museum. Lucy. She seems like someone to keep you on the straight and narrow. I worry about the curse, the legends, and the suicides. Even you said that some things should be left as they are. Do what you feel is right. Follow your instincts. If Nicholas Gurney sought the crown, he must have had a good reason. Perhaps it's in danger, or close to destruction. Perhaps not all is as it seems. I need to think, Professor. I feel I'm getting close to the end. But the end of what? Or who? Calm yourself, boy. All will become clear. I hear there was a robbery at the museum. Yes, from right under our noses. The thief nabbed old spider's telescope in the most ingenious fashion. We're not dealing with some common working class filcher. But why the telescope? It's one of the least valuable exhibits. It was like the worst photo camera job. Perhaps it had uh, sentimental value to someone. Or perhaps someone needed it for another purpose, Mr. Danville. Mm. I'm not overly worried about its safety. I think it's probably in safe hands. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure you're right. <laughs> as long as the telescope makes its way back to the museum, he knows. I can't investigate further. He knows. He knows it's us. May I ask you about something else? Yes. Is the museum closed all day? Yes. Even bookworms need a holiday. And it's May Day. Uh, Have a good day, Professor. You too, my boy. You too. Hmm. Be sure to take part in the treasure hunt. Uh, that's what we should check out, maybe. Treasure hunt. Wait, what's this? A lucky dip. I'll try my luck at the lucky dip. M. Another pen. Golf tees. Bottle opener. Surgical spirit bottle. Ooh. Silver spoon, how about that? Let's go to Morgan first and then we'll check out the treasure hunt. Hello, Morgan? Morgan Mankle? Or is it Mystic Morgan today? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Do you see anything in the crystal ball? Yes. Closer, closer. Hey. Oh, shall I take a seat? Yes. There. There. Maybe. Well, Do you see anything in the crystal ball? The mists are <laughs> clearing. Stargell. What do you see? Deeper. Deeper. Through the fog. Through the mists. Now I can see. Can you see my future? I see. I see great things ahead. Will I ever leave Saxton alive? Yes. Yes. You will live long and have many adventures. Oh, good. Tell me, will I find the lost crown? That which is lost may not be found. But I will. I will find it. It shall not be. 
I feel like I'm being followed or haunted. Closer, closer. What? Pretty much closer right. to me. Deeper, deeper. Through the fog, through the mists. Are they coming for me? Yes, yes. What can I do? What can I do? That which is lost may not be found. Are you saying that I should that was leave an the crown? Yes. Well, we cannot do that. I'll cross your palm with silver again, soon. I see. I see great things ahead. Rose. Let's go. That was sufficiently creepy. The May Day Rapid has now been drawn. The winning ticket is one, us. four, two. Congratulations to the winner. That is us. It was a lucky ticket. Go pick up our prize. <sighs> You've done it. Come. Come and collect your prize. But how? You must have sold hundreds of tickets. Uh, oh. Well, a few tickets, maybe. But, but why quibble? You've won. Perhaps it will help with my mission. You've given me new hope, Nigel. I believe there's a great treasure out there across the fence. Seek the truth and prove to me that I was mistaken. Gamble's crown, should it exist, should take pride of place in our humble museum. Yeah. Have a good day, Professor. You too, my boy. You too. Have a look at this painting. Up on high upon the cliffs, Saxon's lighthouse sees all around, from wooded Northfield to old Oakham Town. Thomas. Oakham Town is a place we haven't been yet. Right, what about the treasure hunt? Should we take part in the treasure hunt? Fine print and teddy bears. I'll talk to I'll talk to Bob quickly and see if we can get our telescope back. Happy May Day, Mr. Tawney. Bob, please. And yes. It's a fine mayday. Ah, did you fix that old telescope? I did. First thing this morning. Here you go. Looks Cheers, a bit familiar. Mate. Thanks, mate. I'll let you enjoy mayday. Yeah, you too, lad. Go find her. Sweet. All fixed. Uh, we'll quickly go check out the treasure hunt. Oops. Try your luck at the coconut shy. Whoops. Done it again. Come one and all. Oh, it's the same. Mayday is here at last. Okay, I guess we don't need to do it. Well, I think we should go up to the lighthouse. Check it out, shall we? Be sure to buy a ticket for the Mayday Rapid. I've already won. him roasting on the beach. Poor guy. Okay. Actually, I should visit Reese. How you doing, mate? Not enjoying the fair, buddy. Afternoon, Reese. You're 
I'm sorry about Mr. Tibbs. If I get my hands on who did that, by the Celtic gods, I'll crush them. It's a police matter now. We may both make I, well, what can I do for you? Nothing for you around, Reese. I certainly hope so. We'll come back to you. I just wanted to stop in and see how you're doing. Go up to the lighthouse. Today fair. Now, I think we use this here. This is the clue from the painting. Sky and Nigel. Here we go. That's not Northfield. Alcum Church. I found you at last. Alright, so we know how to get there. I'm going to leave that episode there, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one, where we're going to head up to Open Church. See you later. <laughs>